Hello YouTube, today I'm showing you around this 2017 Mini Countryman which has been in for a front and rear Finkware dash cam as well as a full BMW retrofit of a later iDrive system with a genuine BMW reverse camera. Let's go have a look, I'll show you what we've done. So this is a 2017 Mini Countryman Cooper D model and first of all let's take you to the camera. Let's open the boot. There we go, so that's the genuine BMW reverse cam which is built into the grab handle. Real subtle, uh, subtly positioned there. Let's now fully open the boot and I will show you the rear dash cam. So this is the latest Thinkware U3000 model, which has got built-in radar at the back and the front for like the best parking mode possible with the littlest amount of battery drain. As you can see, the cable goes through behind this panel, through the factory congeluted tubing, all the way to the front with no cables on show. Now let's get to the front of the car and I'll show you what this genuine retrofit looks like. Here we go. So this car started off life with the small six and a half inch screen with the plastic bezels that go here and here. It's now got a full eight inch widescreen. Let's turn it on, give it some juice. Yeah, this is the genuine BMW ID6 upgrade, we call this. So it's got the iDrive 6 on a later car. Dashcam's going to talk to me now. Now, Dashcam is talking to us. Is this a Thinkware U3000 camera at the top here? This links to the rear camera I showed you earlier. This is the latest one, this Thinkware uh, U3000. So it's got 4K in, uh, picture on the front, 2K picture on the rear. It's got built in radar. So, what that basically means is the camera will go to fully, almost fully asleep when the ignition is turned off, drawing li very little current. When motion happens, it actually get, the radar actually allows the, um, the footage to go back 10 seconds before the motion happens, means you get, before the incident, the impact itself of someone hitting your car and obviously 10 seconds afterwards. Okay, stunning looking camera. We managed to get this one behind the rear view mirror, so from the driver's view, it's extremely subtle as you see. Now going back to this uh, ID6 upgrade now, this is going to give the customer touchscreen now, it's going to give the customer factory wireless Apple CarPlay, and then when I put it in reverse, you get, oh, position P not engaged, yeah I haven't got the car running, let me just start the car, that'll be easier. And shut the door, that might help as well. There you go, so got a reverse camera on the right with a parking sensor overlay on the left. And you also get obstacle markers as well. So if I take the parking brake off and go back a bit, you're gonna see these obstacle markers on the screen move around to indicate there is obstacles getting closer and closer and then it goes red. And you even get the actual display go red as well to indicate you are getting close and you should definitely stop there and put your handbrake on. Let's go further forward now. But yeah, that's um, the full ID6 upgrade. We've also uh, actually coded this vehicle as well to give the speed limits of every road using a factory camera in the center cluster here. And it actually comes up just there. You can see where those dashes are. That will give him the speed limit of every road he's traveling on because the actual factory camera this will read the signs and give him the speed. Really clever stuff. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this retrofit on this BMW Countryman. If you like what you see or you want to interest in other BMW retrofits, don't hesitate, drop us a line, drop a comment, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And there's a handy WhatsApp phone number on our www.johncleese.com website for all your contact details. Speak to you soon. Cheers.